Hey everyone, welcome back to our Retrofit series. In the previous videos, we covered the basic setup of Retrofit and explored different converter factories. In this class, we are diving into a powerful feature, the at the rate path annotation. It is a game changer when it comes to dynamic URL paths. So let's jump right in. Before we get into at the rate path, let's quickly recap what we have learned so far. Retrofit is an awesome HTTP client for Android, making API calls a bridge. We have set up Retrofit, talked about different converter factories like Scalars and JSON, essential groundwork for today's topic. Now you can see our API endpoint. Let's run it. This is the same setup as previous videos. You can see the result is something like this. Let me change this number to 2 and let's see what results come. You can see here the ID changed. That means whatever you have put here, the result will come accordingly. That means result depend on this number. That means this value is basically dynamic. Now we will use at the rate path annotation. So first of all you have to detect which parts is dynamic. For now this is dynamic for us. So we will wrap this within curly brace and we'll give it a name. Suppose ID. And within the parameter section of the function, we'll create a new parameter here with at the rate path annotation. It will take a parameter. It should be the same name here. Now you can put any name for your parameter. I will put same name or let's say to do id and this will be a string or integer whatever you want. It's not a matter. Now because this function is taking a parameter, we have to pass the parameter value. So here I will put one, I think it will take string, right? So you can see the result is coming for value one. Let's change the value here. Yes, the result changed as per our input. So this way we can use at the rate path annotation to dynamically change the path segment and we can pass the path segment in our function. Let me tell me you again. First of all you have to detect the dynamic path segment. For us the dynamic path segment is id of the to do and this id should be wrapped in a curly brace you can put any name here but the same name should be here as well this way we have to use at the rate path this will take a parameter and the parameter name should be same this and this should be exactly same and here you can put any parameter name with string, integer, whatever you want. But because our function now is taking a parameter, so we have to pass a value for the id. And you can change it. Now 
you can see you can use any number of at the rate path annotation in an api let's see how we can do this suppose our api looks like this something like this so in this situation our url has three dynamic section that means we can have three at the rate path parameter like this at the rate path annotation can take another parameter and that is encode it let's see what is the usage of encode it suppose your path segment value is john plus do so this should be encoded anyhow but in some case you can maybe already encode it your value like this you have already passed the encoded value in that case you have to mention that you have already encoded by using this parameter like this if the value of this is already encoded you should use encoded equals to true but if you want retrofit should encode your value then you should mention false or nothing as we wrap up a quick tip when using at the rate path always ensure your endpoint structure aligns with your api documentation consistency is key also remember to handle each case gracefully like when a dynamic parameter is null and there you have it a glimpse into the powerful world of at the rate path annotation in retrofit it is a simple yet effective way to handle dynamic values in your api calls if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content in the next video we will explore another exciting feature until then Happy coding.